Today I have a great little decor piece that can be adjusted in so many different ways so that it fits the decor you want it to fit. Come check it out with me. Hi guys and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box below. If I can't link what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Today we're going to go ahead and participate in the DIY challenge. The theme is Valentine's Day, so thank you Heidi for hosting, and don't forget to check out her channel and the playlist linked in my description box. Alright guys, so to start today's project, I'm going to go ahead and take this shadow box from the Dollar Tree, and I'm using these tiny little screwdrivers to undo that sawtooth hanger on the back. So then you just pop the back out so you have two pieces. And I'm going to paint the outside of it with this lavender in the Waverly chalk paint. I ended up doing two coats of the lavender, and for the second coat, I added a little bit of white, just to lighten it up a bit. I also picked up these wooden hearts at the Dollar Tree, and I filled in the hole. I'm going to paint that in the silver lining, also part of the Waverly Inspirations chalk paint. When I was envisioning this heart that I was going to have on our frame, I originally was going to do some little dots and then drag through them to make them into hearts like you see on baking channels and stuff like that in the frosting. I thought that would look really cool, but I tried it and I didn't like it, so I went ahead and I scraped most of it off and I sanded over it so we have a smooth surface. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a second coat of just this uh, silver lining on. So here's the back of the shadow box that I popped out and to be completely honest with you, I really wanted to remove this backing but I was having a really hard time getting it off. The more I thought about it I was like why am I so insistent on this because I'm covering it with cardstock so it's not even going to show through. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to trace it on here and cut this size out. I'm going to start by drawing some lines and I'm just going to draw them horizontally and I want them to be, I don't want them to be perfect so I'm going to hand draw them. But there's several different options you could do. It would be really cool to put a picture on this background um, or have like a name on the background, something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to try and write be mine in kind of a elongated script. <laughs> so we'll see if it works out. Once that's all done, we'll go ahead and glue it onto the background. And you can definitely use whatever colors suit your decoration or the typical um, Valentine's colors. I'm going to be putting this in my children's room, and so that is why I'm using the colors that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and grab a pencil and try and sketch in the Be Mine. I'm going to take this Mod Podge and gloss, and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit around the edges and stick it on there. I'm choosing to only put the Mod Podge on the outer sides of it so that it doesn't wrinkle and then I'm actually going to sit on this to get it to stay really nice and firmly on there without any wrinkles or anything like that. Okay, and now we're going to press it on, try and get it as even as possible on there. It's not like hot glue, so you can adjust it a little bit until you have it where you'd like it. And now I'm going to go ahead and sit on it so that it goes nice and flat. So our heart is mostly dry. I'm going to use some of this puff paint in white that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to make some polka dots on there. You do have to be a little careful with puff paint because it can tend to have a mind of its own, but I'm not too particular in this being perfect. Alright, so the back just fit in there real nicely, so I just went ahead and I pushed it in, and I did pound a little bit on the edges, but it fits tight enough that I'm going to leave it be, and then I am going to end up screwing the sawtooth hanger right here where it was originally, but for the front, I'm going to take the heart that we made, and I'm just going to hot glue it here. I want it so that the edge is right along, the like tip is right along the edge here, and it hangs off just a little bit. And as you can see, I was testing mine out and I stuck my finger in it, but it was not dry, so I'm going to have to go ahead and correct those two dots. I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but I chose the colors that I chose to go with my daughter's room decor because this is going to hang in my daughter's room. Obviously, as always, you can definitely make this whatever color you want and adjust it however it fits your decor best. I'm so excited about how this turned out, and I can't wait to move it into the girls' room. Here's a final look at the project. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again, Heidi, for hosting. Don't forget to check out the playlist linked below, and I can't wait to do another craft with you next time. Bye-bye.